Colleen here, welcome back for another video. And it is currently Saturday, March 9th, and I'm gonna do my morning walk. I have integrated a lot more walking into my life, and as you can see from the previous clip, I have leaned out quite a bit, especially in my midsection region. So today I'll be showing you guys my three day a walk routine. My first walk of the day is going to be my incline walk. I like to start off my day it energizes me and that is my fat loss walk during lunch time i use my hour to go outside and do a two mile walk that is my relaxation walk that is my casual walk that is my um, a mental walk i call it my mental walk i will listen to a podcast music i will listen to the road nature i just get outside away from the desk and catch a break and my last walk of the day is on my walking pad which is my digestion walk i will usually i usually do this walk after my dinner or my last meal of the day help my digestion help my food go down, use up some glucose and calories before I go to bed to catch up in any steps I may have missed for the day. My goal every day is 14,000 steps a day. For me as a intermediate to advanced person in exercise, that is like the minimum I should be getting. But if you're a beginner, the minimum is usually 10K. For me, I'm easily reaching now 15 to 18,000 steps a day. And it has really made a difference in my stomach, my body fat composition. I've stopped worrying about the scale. I've stopped thinking about numbers. I just like use my clothes as a gauge, the mirror as a gauge, inflammation as a gauge for me now. But lately I have been experiencing some inflammation in my fibroid. If you don't know, I was diagnosed with fibroids. I was bleeding profusely for three weeks straight and I did a 72 hour water fast and on the third day she stopped she behaved herself and she never came back i'm experiencing inflammation again where my period happened about a week ago about a week ago but i'm still bleeding not heavily not red and the ways to tell that i am inflamed my fibroids are acting up when i lay down on my back I could feel the bump. When I'm not inflamed, I don't feel the the cyst, the fibroid. For two, I have to use the bathroom a lot more. My bladder is already weak, so when I'm going to the bathroom multiple times throughout the night, multiple times throughout the day, I can't hold it. She's acting up. If I'm experiencing inflammation in my ankle, that means I'm experiencing inflammation everywhere. She's acting up. If I'm bleeding, spotting, she's acting up. So I'm going to do another fast. I haven't fasted in a long time. I've been doing high protein, moderate to low carb, and it really has made a difference in my cognition. I just feel a lot more satisfied. Um, I don't require as much. I feel very satisfied nutritionally. So meat it is for me, but I can't help but wonder, is it contributing to my fibroid growth? Which sucks because I want I wanted to be plant-based, but plant-based like I crave meat. I actually have a bit of work to do today. We have to be on call for some testing in the database system. Let's go to my gym. So for my fat loss walk, I will, I used to do 12, 330. I started to dread it only because it's so fast and so steep for such a consistent time. And it was kind of boring. So what I do is the fat burn and I put it on like level, since I'm going longer because it's a Saturday, I'll put it on level seven. I'll put it on level, yeah, seven. It's very effective. And then I will do for about like, I have, I'll do 45. I don't worry about the weight and then go and then the speed i choose for the first incline i'll do 2.5 and then i'll go up to 2.8 2.8 is my comfortable yet effective speed i don't feel like i'm panting to death 2.8 is like 
the zone two speed for me where I can speak without running out of breath and I could keep going for a long time. I don't want to be exhausted or I can't speak while I'm walking. Still working. I'm actually in my clubhouse. Figured I'd utilize this place a lot more because it's big, it's fun. This coffee is hella good. And actually, I picked the six ounce portion, which is very appropriate. I don't need eight ounces. And I put one little half and half. Why is this still querying? Like, what? What? It's something wrong with the, the query. Okay, yay. I'm just, everything's finished with the switchover. So that means I'm free. I actually have my kids this weekend, so I'm gonna run and go get them. I wanted to take a shower and all that, but I just have to go get my kids and bring them here with me. I miss them so much. And, oh, I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. F this. F this laptop. Is it juicy? So I'm back home and I got the boys with me. Boy one, boy two is in the bathroom. I stopped at Walmart. We had stopped at the barber but it was full, so we'll go back another day. I got an exciting package. <laughs> okay, so I ordered some bundles because I'm planning on doing some lock extensions because I I can't, I'm tired of short hair and I just can't, I can't live like this anymore. So I'm going to add some human hair to the ends of my locks. At this point, I just want to feel good so I'm going to take you along for that process. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired of looking homely. Oh, I combined some locks and now I have to take them out. So I'm just redoing a few locks that I combined and then I'm going to one by one put a little bit of hair extensions. I'm just peeling this pear. I know the fiber is in the skin, but the textures is awful. It's pear season, y'all, so eat you some. They are so juicy, so juicy. My son slurps it up, cause he's a little slurper. The little one has an appetite for anything sweet. And the bigger one loves popcorn. <laughs> Anywho, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to take out my walking pad and start bringing this sugar down. I have some editing I need to do. I did all my homework because I wanted to make sure I was able to focus, in, focus on the boys. But then I remember like, oh, I have to edit. And I really want to do my hair. I want to get a good start on my hair because I want to look like something for the week. And today is Saturday and I don't know. It'll probably be a multi-day task. It's garbage. But yeah, it's cold and rainy out. In case you don't know, I wrote a fast to face ADF guide, alternate day fasting guide for beginners and veterans alike. This delves way into the psychology of weight loss, fasting, um, do's, don'ts, strict versus treat fasting, my experience, my story, how I did it. You can purchase this guide on the website. I will link it down below. If you're trying to get that alternate day life, if you're trying to get that alternate day fasting life, you need this guide. It is chock full of gems. Everything I've ever said in my YouTube videos is all in one succinct, concise book, and you'll love it. It's an easy read, it's a very useful, practical guide, and you'll start alternate day fasting in no time. I lost over 67 pounds alternate day fasting, and it changed my life. I'm using fasting again to reduce my fibroid size. All these benefits come from fasting, so I also have an ebook available for those that are like international or want the book now o'clock so useful i'm gonna clean up my kitchen for a little bit and then i'm going to start working on my hair i'll show you what i'm doing also listen there's nothing better to do than your hair and nails on a fast day 
I have these electrolyte capsules. They're from Keto Chow. And I will be having this while I'm fasting. Electrolyte capsules by Keto Chow. This will help me. Um, they say use these capsules to help keep your body hydrated, improve mental focus, reduce fatigue, speed up muscle recovery, and support a healthy vascular system. I'll actually probably it's just take one capsule. There's no calories or anything. I'm going to take one of these now and stay as hydrated as possible because I don't like how my skin has been like... Mm -mm, I don't like it. I also have fasting drops by Keto Chow, which is just like sodium drops, sodium and magnesium, daily minerals, which I should really be taking more diligently. Magnesium capsules. So yeah, throughout the day when I'm feeling a little down, I will be popping one of these. Um, I'm auto subscribed to my protein powder. This is the Garden of Life Raw Organic Protein, 22 grams of protein, which is, I think they reformulated it because before it used to be 20. But I do want to subscribe to the Kiala Greens. That is a life changer. What is this? Oh, I got a lot kit. <laughs> they sent that together, that's funny. Okay, so yeah, I ordered a lock kit this is like crochet needles and a lock tool for when I do my retightenings. I don't think I'm going to, not anytime soon, go back to the my loctician. I'm going to do my things my own time because for one, I'm very particular about my hair. I'm very particular about my hair. And if anybody's going to mess it up, it's going to be me. Okay. Oh, did I tell you I went to Pilates last night? I went to Club Pilates on a class pass and I took like the cardio flow. It was really fun and it felt really good. And that was my first reformer class, but it was like kind of easy and it was a 1.5. I like doing new things. My thing this year is to do more classes, add more fitness. I love fitness. I, I have been into fitness since childhood and it's probably been the most consistent thing in my life being active and I have no intention on getting rid of activity and actually I, what I want to do is start building on it and start being active out of fun and enjoyment instead of out of punishment to my body. I want to do activities that make me happy. So lately I've been doing a lot more Pilates at home. Um, it feels so good. It, re it feels so good. It's a mix of yoga and strength and walking. Walking has just changed so much in my life, physically and mentally. I actually crave walking now, and anytime I can get to walk, it's my, my walks are so much more intentional. I purposely drive to the back of the parking lot now and get my steps in and feel good that my legs work and my back is straight, and I'm breathing and I'm getting my heart rate going. I love walking and it has been the thing that easily has gotten me into shape time after time after time so thinking back to the times that i've been effortlessly slim in my life it was 22 working at h&m 23 to 24 when i was working as a part-time production assistant when i was working as a freelance production assistant and like 32 when I was working at EPS as a preloader. It wasn't hard staying in shape. Why? Because all of those jobs had movement. I was moving. And even though they were part-time, all, all of those jobs were part-time or on and off, they all just required me to move. And I had no problem being 
the size I wanted to be or even like worrying about what I ate so much because I was just more physically active and I kept forgetting that principle my body enjoys movement and responds very quickly to movement so I have to keep that in mind let's look at this hair though so this is bundles I got from Maven okay so this is Maven Peruvian deep wave. I got 16 inch, which that too made me nervous. I probably should have gotten 14. I think that's pretty. I think this is going to be okay. This is in the natural color, which is perfect for my hair because my hair is not very dark. My hair is actually very brown. And what I'm gonna do is cut the hair off the bundles and attach it. So as I said, I had combined a few of my locks like this is just what happens when you're impulsive so i had twisted them and then interlocked the root so now to get the root unlocked i have to undo everything i found the best tool to undo micro locks is it has a needle tip and it is I, it's so perfect for taking out micro locks Y'all, I'm not looking forward to any of this process, but hopefully it'll come out nicely. I really don't want to pay anybody to do it because it's very experimental and I have a particular way of how I want it done. I just want to look presentable every day and I'm tired of having short hair. I'm so over it. You have no idea. I feel like my look is limited because of the ways I could style my hair. I feel, once again, I feel unsexy, which I did when I was overweight. <laughs> At least when I was overweight, I had like all this hair to flash around. But you see how easily this pen, like, I don't care about the ink. The ink is minimal and it can be washed out. But the power in which it's able to do its job. So I take this. And then I braid the roots. I braid the roots nice and tight until I'm satisfied, until I have like the skinniest piece in the middle. Then I separate it and then I go counterclockwise with the twist. And then I start borrowing hair from each twist. And that kind of helps the locking process so from each i'll borrow hair as i twist you know and just like mix it up when you're doing regular two strand twists they tell you don't borrow hair for this for like doing micro locks borrow hair it helps with the locking just borrow it as much as you can so when you're done you should not be able to like really do that you know how when you don't borrow, you're able to like run it up the entire strand with this. And it's a little more elongated as well. Doesn't draw up as much. So I'm going to do that to the other piece. I could probably do four locks an hour. I'm serious. Like it's so bad. All I did was interlock the roots of a twisted lock and it... I wish I could just undo the, the interlock at the root. There's no way. That's no way. I have to undo the entire two locks to get to the root. Okay. I'm still going. It is currently 427. I've redone a good amount of the front. I still have some of the middle to go and some of the back. I did one. I did one and I think I'm gonna love it. I think I'm gonna, you see how fine that is? It has to match the density of the hair. I think I'm gonna love it. Like that's making me excited. Like already I feel prettier just with this little strand. I just, I need something like the ball headed, like I'm tired of being bald. 
I need a break. I have been doing this for hours. It's a labor of love. This hair is so pretty though. I unraveled it. Deep wave. But yeah, this is currently the process of uncombining my locks and then into the arduous process of adding this hair to the ends. I do need to catch up on my steps. Standing in one, I think that's another thing too. I've been so busy getting my steps in that I really don't have time for anything. Like, <laughs> I don't have time for anything else. I don't have time to like sit down. The only time I do have time to like sit and do stuff is when I'm at work. So yeah, I broke my fast. I had two tangerines and me and the kids shared some grapes. This is all the evidence that's left. So two tangerines, grapes. I'm making my greens powder. I love to have this at least once a day. It's so good. Kiala greens, if you see this, put me on your PR list. Um, so I have some of that in there. And I'm gonna use some of this keto chow mix for protein. protein this is the strawberry flavor it has a bit of sodium in it so it should have high blood pressure but this is like geared towards fasters and um, those on keto so electrolytes are important so it has like sodium in it so it doesn't taste like your average protein mix pour some water on that I need a bigger cup. And a popcorn. Yeah, like, I love popcorn with all my heart. Wolf of Red and Bonker particularly. And I'm gonna go watch, what's the name of it? Dirty John Betty. So the second season of D Dirty John. And hang out with the boys. So guys, this is my new baby. I've been using her for about over a week and a half now, almost two weeks. And if you're on TikTok, you know all about the walking pads. This is how I've been killing it on my step game. I position it right in front of the television and binge watch while I walk. This one has a flip up. It's like a standing bar. And if it's up, it could go faster, but while it's down, it can only go up to 2.5. And I have the app so I can connect to it. It also comes with a remote. I need to get a battery for the remote, which I really need. And this is from Costway. Costway sent me this to try. If you're interested, you can get $60 off of their folding treadmill. I'll leave the link and the code down below. And then they have another code for 10% off anything off the Costway site. So thank you to Costway for this. This has been tremendous in my steps goal, my weight loss goal, my activity goal, I'm moving more, love, love, love. So usually after I eat, I get on this. I used to do Leslie Sansone, but now I just get on my walk pad, go 2.5 miles per hour, and I've been loving it. It's really good. Made some belt adjustments. It comes with a safety lock. I have not actually used the bar up yet, but I don't want to. I have a treadmill for that. I just strictly wanted a walking pad. Plugs in, it's all good. So yeah, thanks again to Costway for this walking pad. I feel like everyone should have a walking pad if you can accommodate it. We ended up, well, I ended up ordering Domino's ordered a medium thin crust pizza. Mine has Philly cheesesteak. The kids have like just veggies. And there was a coupon to get free stuffed cheesy bread. And this is like the spinach and cheese one. <sighs> we'll try again another day. Are you gonna fall off a chair?